Alrighty guys, welcome back to uh, my kitchen here today. So um, yeah, I guess last night, yesterday, I had a bit of a unsuccessful attempt to make a uh, pavlova. Well, I failed at the very first hurdle, which was making my meringue. So um, because I was using this uh, whisker thing here, I don't have a proper big mix mixer. I, um, anyway, cut a long story short, it didn't work. Sprayed egg all over my kitchen. Um, some of you might have seen that video. I'll put a link up at the top right if you want to watch that schmozzle. Um, so I'm going to have another attempt. I still haven't got the correct equipment. I've got the same bowl. I've got two egg whites in my bowl again. But this time, <laughs> and yeah, who knows how this is going to go. I've actually put Glad Wrap or cling film, if you want to call it, plastic wrap out of the top of my bowl and I've just split, I don't know if you can see that, a bit of a, uh, a hole there. <laughs> so it's a bit of a harebrained scheme here, but bear with me. Join me on the journey. I'm going to give it a go. So I've got my uh, little hand whisker thing here again. I'm going to Sort of maneuver that through that that hole, like so. So this time, there's less. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot less room for the egg to escape. We'll see what happens. Ramp it up to high. So that's sort of, uh, I think, what they call soft peaks. Maybe a little bit more. And you know what? I think if I'd held this more upright yesterday, like as in at 90 degrees to the uh, surface, because that's not even splashing out. Uh, so yeah, it was a bit of partly my uh, technique yesterday. Sorry, partly my technique yesterday too, I think. I'm going to gradually incorporate, I've got here, that was two egg whites by the way, and I've got here half a cup of sugar, but I'm just going to put in uh, about a tablespoonful at a time. Alrighty guys. So at this stage, yeah, and, um, <coughs> you know, stiff peaks like so, and just feel it, see if you can still feel the sugar, which I can a little bit, that was caster sugar too by the way, so, um, uh, actually it's not too bad, but at this point too, I'm just going to add in just a tiny little bit of white vinegar, about half a teaspoon, and about a teaspoon of corn flour or cornstarch. <coughs> and I might even add just a drop. Of vanilla essence as well. Just a little bit. I'll just give that a whisk for another five minutes or so. Alrighty, we'll 
so far that's going a bit better than yesterday so what I've got here now is just that tray and I've put a bit of baking paper on it and I've just taken a bit of my meringue mixture and used that to well, anchor down my paper a bit four spots so I've got this tip from a uh, lady at work, Shazza she said um, yeah, try sprinkling on a little bit of desiccated coconut on my base here so I'll do that so um, I'm not making a massive big pavlova Too much more. So what I'm going to do now is I've got the oven preheated to 180 degrees so I'm immediately going to put this in and turn it down to about 140 degrees and it's not a very big meringue here as you can see so I'll see how it looks after about half an hour 40 minutes and um, then I'll turn the heat right off and maybe leave it in the cooling oven a bit longer but I'm just playing all this by ear guys because I don't really know for sure. Let's see what happens. Alrighty. So, um, yeah, because my um, meringue system there turned out not too bad, actually <laughs> turned out really good to be honest, I'm going to use the same system now uh, for whipping up some cream, because I want obviously pavlova, you've got to have whipped cream on it. So I've just got a tubby of uh, thick cream, which was about 300 mils. To that I'm going to add, and like I say I've got the same system, I've got the glad wrap on top, I mean I don't want to make a mess, uh, I take the risk of making a mess, and I've seen how the uh, glad wrap slip system works. So yeah I've got half a tablespoon of icing sugar, and that's going to go into my cream. I'm also going to, I know I added vanilla to the uh, meringue, but I'm going to add a little bit more to my cream too. Just, I don't know what that is, it's probably half a teaspoon. And I'll get my whipper out. <laughs> Same thing. Get it through the uh, barrier. Get it uh, perpendicular. I think that was uh, the main reason it's the uh, egg white succeeded. Start on the low and then move up to the high. Let's see what happens. Alrighty, so um, yeah, I can just, uh, I've got all the ingredients here to assemble my pavlova and as I said yesterday in that video if yes forgive my voice it's a bit croaky at the moment so yeah my um, meringue this time turned out really nice it's very delicate I think it's still sort of soft inside Shaz's idea to put the coconut on is a is struck a genius so I've got a nice coconut sort of toasty coconut base sitting there. Now I'm just going to whack my uh, whipped cream on there. Very very simple this guys. I don't want a complex, well the more complex I try and make this the more chance I've got to stuff it up. So I've whipped that cream up. 
I'm just going to spread it over the top. Of my meringue base. <laughs> uh, I'm only sort of half laughing because it looks really good. And it sort of uh, proves a point in the kitchen. Sometimes it's good just to cook for yourself. And I know that sounds selfish, but I'll, I'll clarify that. Uh, <laughs> clarify that thought by saying you get to experiment, you get to try things new without the pressure of if it doesn't work out disappointed someone now I don't I don't disappoint myself because I'm just experimenting and trying to um, make things so last night I was yeah I was disappointed but I learnt from the experience so that's good that's a good thing if I had someone here waiting to have a nice pavlova I would have been stressed and uh, anxious about it, but so what I've got here now is I've just got two passion fruit, the fruit out of two passion fruits, and I'm just going to spread that over. I mean, I don't mind passion fruit seeds. Some people might, um, I don't know, try and sieve it out or push it through a strainer or something like that. I'm not doing that. I love passion fruit. It's one of my favourite fruits. Alright, childhood memory. Go on and pick them blackberries from the uh, Blackberry Briars. Let's put some of those on. I uh, just got these in the supermarket, which was a surprise. I didn't expect to find something as yummy as uh, blackberries in my local uh, supermarket, but they were there. Oh boy. Looking good. Uh, how much is too much? Because <laughs> I have also got a few blueberries. Basically, it's a passion fruit berry pavlova. Alrighty, that'll do. Looking good, looking fine. I'll cut a slice of this and I'll get back to you. guys so yeah I've just cut myself a slice of my uh, pavlova here so I'm gonna try it so I'll just check that meringue so it's nicely cooked but it's still nice a little bit soft and chewy in the middle which is what I was hoping for <laughs> so just on that meringue just so you know I'll give you the exact um, times I did for that amount like I said, I preheated the oven to 180 degrees. As soon as I whacked it in, I turned it down to 140 degrees Celsius. After half an hour, I turned it down to 100 degrees Celsius. I left it for another half hour, and then I turned the oven right off, but I left it in there for another hour. Then, after that hour, I pulled it out and just let it cool. So, by some miracle, that seemed to be perfect <laughs> because it is turned out a treat. Now, I'm not going to have this first mouthful without a berry on it because, like I say, if you saw that video yesterday, this has been a bit of an ordeal, so let's taste it.
<laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is just awesome. Ah, oh, that's good. <laughs> what a relief. And I mean, I love passion fruit, so that's a winner for me just straight off. I mean, look at the, um, but the main success is that um, meringue. It's still nice and soft and chewy on the inside. It's got a nice little crust. And whoop, losing it. Um, so, <laughs> it is possible to make a pavlova in your crappy little home kitchen with a crappy little hand mixer and very happy about that so thanks for watching guys really appreciate it uh, thanks to those who have subscribed to the channel if you enjoy this video and you haven't subscribed can I ask that you hit that subscribe button I'd really appreciate it and I'll see you all next time thanks guys